Hey guys, uh, Wolfman Plays here, and today I'm going to give you my opinion on why you shouldn't download mods right now for Mountain Player 2 Bandit Lord. Firstly, this is because Tail World is constantly updating the game, for better or worse. This breaks mods unless you use the beta feature in Steam to keep a certain version. The modding tools are also in a work in progress and are lacking the moment, therefore not many major overhauls seem to be progressing at this time, from what I've seen, right? Only tweaks, custom troop trees, maps, and scripts that make new mechanics, but nothing truly extensive like we've seen in Warband. Like what, like, like what was shown with the modding video from Tail Worlds that showcases a completely different mini game of sort, with like a space game. I'm sure I could find it here, but I'll place it here. Personally, I don't have mods because I want to be familiar with the base game first, since Tail Worlds always seems to be changing stuff like adding in rebellions options for pillaging that kind of stuff i don't see why i should add mods that break after every new update with the modder usually not bothering to update it i understand modders are doing this for free in our their now their free time but for me and pers possibly others it's not worth the hassle to keep checking which mods work with the current update sure you can keep the current version but it seems that you're missing out on the bug fixes performance fixes and so on and people may cry where where the patches don't give you anything well they do when i look through the list i can see like a it goes for a fucking full page i don't, I don't understand the argument saying that the patches only have bug fixes well there's more to that there's more to it if you read to it read through it but people don't read through it and just regurgitate the same um shit they get from youtubers right i don't have i don't have a beastly rig and because of that i'm always looking to upgrade update my game for the potential performance increases as well as bug fixes so that's my reasoning for, like my uh one of my, one of my reasons for sticking with the base game and not with mods in my short opinion i like the base game some people don't i do you get many arguments saying warband is better than bannerlord which objectively it is not when comparing the base games the warband base game while revolutionary at the time is limited and is outclassed by bannerlord this is because Bandlord expands on or improves on everything Warband did. People don't see that and they have their nostalgia glasses on. I had my nostalgia glasses on too, bro, but when you just play Bandlord, it's just so much easier to play than Warband. Let's be real. So what so what? If it so what if some minor aesthetic features like feasts are missing? I'm sure they'll be added eventually. So these arguments are kind of redundant and are just designed to shit talk the game for attention and clicks. Okay, Warband has more mods and everyone's using them, so that means the game is better than Bannerlord in their eyes, but they do not take in consideration that Bannerlord doesn't have these mods yet. And when Tail Worlds picks their games up, pick their game up, the modding tools, and makes it, you know, more serviceable for the modders, I'm certain that Bannerlord will have more expansive mods than Warband ever could. I will we'll definitely make a more defined, controversial video on why Bannerlord is objectively the better title than Warband. Because I see a lot of crybabies in the form saying that, you know, Warband's better, but like, it's just, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Like, the game, Warband was made like, I don't know, so long ago, like 10 years ago, and it's just so retarded. But however, back on top, I do not think at the moment people should be downloading mods because they become outdated rather quickly. The mod authors seem to go inactive once they post their mod, like five months ago, and not bothering, not bothering to check up on it. You can have your mods unbroken if you keep the current version of your game, but for me, it's simply not worth it since the patches seemingly give so many bug fix additions, which I've stated before, and I'd rather choose that than the mods, which also come with their problems like balancing and their own bugs as, their own bugs as well. Overall, my opinion or suggestion to people is that they should wait for the early access to end, which will be a long time. But come on, guys! Like you can't complain about mods to, to developers when you know this happens to every game with updates. You know, the, every update in every game will break the mods associated with that game. You know. Um, continuing on, when mod is a uh, when the modders can have free reign is when the early access ends. And there you have it. That's my general opinion on why I don't think you should download mods at the moment. And why you shouldn't, uh, and why, and why I don't download mods either. 
please leave comments and provide your take on the issue. I'm happy to discuss, but I won't reply to ban law and shit posts with no substance. I, I hate I hate shit posts from ban law. I really hate them. I would I would also appreciate if you like and subscribe since this motivates me to make more videos and to increase the quality of my videos. Like spend more time with it because you know I find it uh, a bit annoying when I make a video and it gets like 10 views or something like that. So I just uh I I just I like the views and likes. It just keeps it keeps me going. I plan to expand the Mount Blade Warband as well, so stay for that if you want. If you want, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video.